Did I get him? I got him. What? What do you want? You wanna... Can we talk? I've done nothing wrong and... Ah, oh, screw this. Oh no. Okay, it's about to swallow the whole of Winterhold. This is not good. You survived. You have it then? Let's hope it's as powerful as the Sidgix believe it to be. This is not good. Where's Mirabelle? She... she didn't make it. When it was clear we were going to have to fall back, she stayed behind and made sure the rest of us were all right. We can do this. I've got the staff, you know? I'll be right behind you. We never should have brought that thing here. It's too late to whine about that. Any of us survive this. Shut up and fight. We never should have brought that thing here. Right, I guess I'm the one doing the work. We never should have brought that thing here. You're getting on my nerves, Majors. We never should have brought that thing here. I'll be amazed if any we of never us should have brought that thing here. Yeah, I'll be amazed if any of you will help out. I'll be amazed if any of us survive this. Clearly not. All right, Raya, get ready to fight. You come for me, have you? What's he doing? You think I don't know what you're up to? You think I can't destroy you? The power to unmake the world. Fight, my damn it. And you think you can do anything about it? Oh! I'm trying. Oh, Nothing so works. Ha, I am beyond your pathetic attempts at magic. You cannot touch me. The staff, use it on the eye. Do you, you think that's a good idea? All right. Still, you persist. Very well. Come then. See what I can do now. Hey. Wait, that didn't help. That didn't help at all. He's ciphering power from that thing now? Come on, I'll close it again. I'm closing it, damn it. Now. Die already. How does he do that? This takes too long. I can't get this. Why does it take so long? He opens it with a snap and I have to use half an eternity to get it closed again. Oh no, you don't. No. Uh-oh. Me and my big mouth. I could use your help. Uh, Raya? I will destroy you. Thanks! Oh, I'm sorry. I, I got a bit 
carried away there. Whew. Now what? How do we get that thing out of here? I think that's what we're supposed to do. I knew you could do it. I want to get this thing out. How do we do that? I... I don't know. Ancano is gone, but whatever he's done to the eye doesn't seem to have stopped. Right. I have no idea what to do. Some mage you are. What? How did you... you stop sneaking up on me, please? We knew you would succeed. You knew, huh? Your victory here justifies our belief in you. You have proven yourself more than worthy to guide the College of Winterhold. You, what? What are you talking about? So, are you gonna get this thing out of here? The eye has grown unstable. It cannot remain here That's or else it I may said. destroy your college and this world. It must be secured. Onkano's actions prove that the world is not ready for such a thing. We shall safeguard it. For now. You now have the opportunity to maintain your college and it's not my college. Lives. You have our gratitude, Archmage. Did you get this thing out of here, please? You've done it. The college is safe again thanks to your work. I knew you had it in you. I dare say the Sidics are right. There's no one more deserving to be Archmage in Yes, it opinion. is. You. Here, consider these yours, and the Archmage's quarters as well. <gasps> I shall be here for advice, should you need. Are you out of your mind? I'm not an Archmage, and I'll, I'll never be. I'm not even a mage. What? And I'm throwing away this circlet. Never again. Never again. This college will have to do without an archmage because I'm not coming back here. Useless, helpless, dangerous, short sighted, ridiculous mages. Ah, uh, look at that waterfall. Wait a second. I didn't know we were this close to. Uh, the Dawn God Fort. Well, maybe take up some paying job would be nice. Hello. Watch where you're going. All right, Isran. You've got us all here. Now, what do you want? Hold it right there. What? What's going on? What? What are you doing? Making sure you're not vampires. Can't be too careful. So, welcome to Fort Dawnguard. I'm sure you've heard a bit of what we're up against. Powerful vampires, unlike anything we've seen before. And they have an Elder Scroll. If anyone is going to stand in their way, it's going to be us. This is all well and good, but do we actually know anything about what they're doing? What do we do now? We'll get to that. For now, get acquainted with the space. Soreen, you'll find room to start your tinkering on that crossbow design you've been working on. Gunmar, there's an area large enough for you to pen up some trolls. Get them armored up and ready for use. Did he say trolls? In the meantime, we're going to get to the bottom of why a vampire showed up here looking for you. What? Let's go have a little chat with it, shall we? Uh, you mean Serana, right? Is she here? What does she want? Guess there's only one way to find out. Where is she? Chucked her away in here, have you? Ugh. In this place. So let's hear it. What? Good evening. You probably weren't expecting to see me again. 
No. What are you doing here? I'd rather not be here either, but I needed to talk to you. It's important, so please just listen before your friend here loses his patience. It's... Well, it's about me and the Elder Scroll that was buried with me. Yeah, what about the scroll? The reason I had it and why I was down there. Mm -hmm. It all comes back to my father. Yeah, of course it does. I'm guessing you figured this part out already, but my father's not exactly a good person, even by vampire standards. He wasn't always like that, though. There was... a turn. He stumbled onto this obscure prophecy and just kind of lost himself in it. Prophecy? What prophecy? It's pointless and vague, like all prophecies. The part he latched onto said that vampires would no longer need to fear the sun. That's what he's after. He wants to control the sun. Seriously? And vampires control the world. Anyway, my mother and I didn't feel like inviting a war with all of Tamriel, so we tried to stop him. That's why I was sealed away with the scroll. Wait, wouldn't it just be easier to seal away the scroll? Never mind. Why are you here? I'm sorry. I had heard there were vampire hunters here. I thought they might want to know about a vampire plot to enslave the rest of the world. Was I wrong? No, but... You want vampire hunters to help a vampire? That was the plan, yes. Assuming the rest of them can trust a vampire. Come on, I'll need you to help convince them. Me? Fine. Look, she's got a point, this run. All right, you've heard what it has to say. Now tell me, is there any reason I shouldn't kill this blood-sucking fiend right now? She's not tried to kill you. We need her help, all right? Honestly, I think we need... Why? Because of that story about the prophecy about some vampire trying to put the sun out? Do you actually believe any of that? Not really, but he's dangerous enough. And she risked her life coming here. It's gotta count for something. Who knows? Maybe it has a death wish. Maybe it's just insane. I don't really care. Then... It can stay for now. But if it so much as lays a finger on anyone here, I'll hold you responsible. Got it? You hear me? Don't feel like a guest, because you're not. You're a resource. You're an asset. In the meantime, don't make me regret my sudden outburst of tolerance and generosity. Right. Because if you do, your friend here is going to pay for it. Sudden Thank you outburst, for your kindness. Huh? I'll remember it the next time I'm feeling hungry. <laughs> so, in case you didn't notice the giant thing on my back, I, I had the Elder Scroll with me. Whatever it says, it will have something that can help us stop my father. But, of course... Neither of us can read it. Yeah. Do you know someone who can? Well, the moth priests are the only ones I've heard of who can do it. They spend years preparing before they start reading, though. Not that it helps us anyway, because they're all half a continent away. In Cyrodiil. Right. Some Imperial scholar arrived in Skyrim a few days ago. I was staking out the road when I saw him pass by. Maybe that's your moth priest. So you're listening you know to it all of a sudden? Now? No, and I'm not going to waste men looking. We're fighting a war against your kind, and I intend to win it. You want to find him? Try talking to anyone who'd meet a traveler. Innkeepers and carriage drivers in the big cities, maybe. But you're on your own. Any idea how you're going to find a moth priest? Skyrim's a pretty big place. Do they have a moth priest lair somewhere? A secret guild? A dungeon? Well, back before I... You know, the College of Winterhold was the first place I'd nope. like to go for any kind of magic nope. or historic. Absolutely not. The wizards know about all kinds of things that people probably shouldn't know about. I'd... Well, I'd come with you, but I don't know if I can trust your friend. My friend? Let me know if you want me along. Wait, you mean... you mean... You mean Raya, don't you? So that means you don't trust me either. I, I get it, I get it. You want my help, but you don't trust me. 
Listen, Raya. You can go back home for a while. Take a breather. Take a bath. Um, bubble bath. Yes, my Thane. Do you need something? No, I, I think you need a little vacation. You've earned it. I'll wait for you at the Jarl's longhouse in Falkreath until you need me again, Thane. Wait, is there something wrong with leaf rest? Alright, you do you. So, this vampire girl just vanished? Hello? Need a ride? I can take you to any of the hold capitals. Did you see a moth priest recently? One of them imperial scholars, right? Mm -hmm. Old man with a gray robe. You've seen him? Might be that I have, but I can't say for sure. I got enough troubles on my mind just trying oh. to scrape by out here. I get it. Yeah, your mind is as blank as your wallet, huh? Fine. Oh, yes. I remember your moth priest now. Funny that. He wanted me to take him out to Dragonbridge, but I told him it ain't one of my stops. Oh, Dragonbridge, huh? Thanks. All right, then. Just have to prove myself to a vampire. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Here you are. And there you are. Bye. Ain't got time for that. And wait, are they looking for me specifically? Why? Do they already know I'm a vampire hunter? Wouldn't surprise me. Serrano? No, she, she wouldn't tell. That would be dangerous of her to do. Someone's following me. Let her. What's happened here? Why would you kill the horse, damn it? A dead vampire, too? I have new orders for you. Prepare an ambush just south of the Dragon Bridge. Take the Moth Priest to Four Bears. Hold out for safekeeping until I can break his will. Oh, Malchus? I don't know who that is. Should I? Well, at least we've got some sort of direction. Although, well, I don't know where that whole... It's 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 a dungeon, a cave somewhere. Wait, another ambush? Why? They're horse killers, damn it. The horses are innocent creatures. I think I see more blood spatter. Is it bleeding profusely or is someone breaking vials? I, I don't know. It's, it's in the area, I think. I think I see footprints this way. I hear her. I need to teach her how to be quiet. Now, Miss Serana, are you done sneaking after me? Well, I'll have you sneak after me 
in here as well but this time you will know that I know she doesn't trust me it's fine I wouldn't trust me either what is that what some sort of shield and we've got vampires here So hard to cook today. Hey, doggy. I mean, dead doggy. Oh. You went alone. Of course you went alone. Who's there? Don't you see the dog? Uh how? That'll teach you. Yeah, I think he's learned his lesson. Mm-hmm. Look at that. The river here is amazing. Are they drying the clothes down here? I would. Not a vampire. Well, not for long. Quiet. Can you hear what they're saying? You can't hear a thing. Is someone in there? Is that the moth priest? Too bad I don't know what he looks like. Uh, looks like we got a cutthroat skulking around. You calling me a cutthroat? You're, you're joking, right? Oh no! No, 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 he's too quick. Oh. Wow. Thanks, Serana. That was helpful. What's he got? A stone of some sort? With the same appearance as this thing. Yes. I serve my Who's master, there? but my master is dead, and his enemies will. I knew I heard I knew something. something. You're not. You're not the moth priest, are you? Where's the moth priest? I didn't come here to fight. Honestly, I didn't. Uh oh. I knew I heard something. Oh now he's mad. Wait. Wait. I what? Yield. what? That that wasn't me. You were fighting. I'm sure it was. I the could the, see the arrow eyes. still standing in, in your chest. Actions. Thank you for breaking that foul vampire's hold over me. You arrived just in time. I think those vampires were getting hungry. 
Hungry? Do you know anything about the Elder Scrolls? Not as much as I would like. Even after spending decades of my life in study of the Elder Scrolls, they remain a great mystery to me. How? It's true for most of my brothers in the Order as well. We don't really know where the scrolls came from or who wrote them. What we do know is that some are born with the special gift to read the Elder Scrolls. These chosen few can divine events of the past and future within the scrolls, though in time it drives us to blindness. I'm afraid there's not much more to tell. Even today, the Elder Scrolls remain a great enigma. So, how how's your eyes? Are you going blind too? Uh, I'm quite all right, thanks to you. Dexian Evicus is my name. I'm a moth priest of the White Gold Tower. White Gold Tower? These vampires claim they had some purpose in store yep. for me, but they wouldn't say what. Probably hoping to ransom me, the fools. Hunger or ransom? Nope. I know what they're after. Because we're after the same thing. You do? All right then. Enough mysteries. I'm with the Dawn God. We've got an Elder Scroll. We'd love for you to read. You have an Elder Scroll? Remarkable. If my knowledge of history serves me, I recall that the Dawn Guard was an ancient order of vampire hunters. I will be happy to assist you with your Elder Scroll. Just tell me where I need to go. Fort Dawn Guard. In the southeast. Very well. I'll hurry on my way there before more of those vampires turn up. Yeah, good idea. Oh, good, you're here. <laughs> I'm impressed you could find a moth priest so quickly. What? Does he have the scroll? Is everything ready? For the reading? Yeah. Just let the old man know when you're ready. My trip to Skyrim has become quite the adventure. So, I, I'm, I'm glad you made it. Ah, my rescuer. It's good to see you again. Have you... have my companions treated you well? It's not exactly the hospitality I'm used to, but your man Isran has seen to my needs well enough. And might I add, this is a remarkable fortress. I have colleagues back home that would love to study this place. Yeah, indeed. I'm honestly not here to talk about the fortress. Can you focus on the scroll, please? Oh, most certainly. Let's find out what secrets the scroll can tell. Now, if everyone will please be quiet, I must concentrate. I see a vision before me. An image of a great bow. I know this weapon. It is Oriel's bow. Now a voice whispers, saying, Among the night's children, a dread lord will rise. In an age of strife, when dragons return to the realm of men, darkness will mingle with light, and the night and the day will be as one. The voice fades and the words begin to shimmer and distort. But wait, there is more here. The secret of the bow's power is written elsewhere. I think there is more to the prophecy, recorded in other scrolls. Yes, I see them now. One contains the ancient secrets of the dragons, and the other speaks of the potency of ancient blood. My vision darkens, and I see no more. To know the complete prophecy, we must have the other two scrolls. I must rest now. The reading has made me weary. Come on, old man. You should get some rest. Do you have a moment to talk? What about? That moth priest, Dexian. Mm -hmm. He said we needed two other Elder Scrolls. Yeah. I think I know where we can start looking. Really? I take it you didn't feel comfortable talking about that earlier? Half the people in your little crew would just as soon kill me as talk to me. That doesn't exactly make me want to open up. 
I got a warmer welcome from my father. Now that's saying something. Yeah, he was kind of nice, wasn't he? Worried about the scroll. <laughs> he didn't really seem to have... Did he even miss you at all? Ever since he decided to make that prophecy his calling, we kind of drifted apart. I don't even think he sees me as his daughter anymore. I'm just... a means to an end. A uh, carrier. So, about the scroll. We need to find my mother, Valerica. Really? She'll definitely know where it is. And if we're lucky, she actually has it herself. If, if, if. You don't even know where she is. The last time I saw her, she said that she'd go somewhere safe. Somewhere that my father would never search. Other than that, she wouldn't tell me anything. But the way she said it, someplace he would never search. It was cryptic, yet she called attention to it. Right. With the family, like... No wonder she wouldn't spell it out. Maybe. What I can't figure out is why she said it that way. Besides, I can't imagine a single place my father would avoid looking. And he's had all this time, too. Any ideas? <laughs> yeah, uh... The one place he wouldn't look... You know how... Lost items usually always are right under your nose. Wait, that almost makes sense. It does, doesn't There's it? There's a courtyard in the castle. I used to help pretend a garden there. All of the ingredients for our potions came from there. She used to say that my father couldn't stand the place. Too peaceful. Right. That would be the perfect place for her to hide. She's that clever, right? Oh, absolutely. But my mother's not a coward. That is, I don't think we'll actually trip over her there, but it's worth a look. We're just gonna go through the front door and say, don't mind us, we're just here looking for your wife. Move along. True, but I know a way we can get to the courtyard without arousing suspicion. There's an unused inlet on the northern side of the island that was used by the previous owners to bring supplies into the castle. An old escape tunnel from the castle exits there, I think that's our way in. Fine, let's go then. To the secret entrance. It's around the side of the castle. Let's move. I knew it would come to this one day. I knew. And no one believed. What? That someone would enter a vampire castle? Yes? What did you need? Oh, I was just looking at the castle, but... Did you and your mother have a good relationship? Before my father became obsessed with a prophecy, my mother and I spent quite a bit of time together. She was very fond of her alchemical garden in the castle courtyard. She taught me quite a bit about cultivating quality regions. Like the best of friends, I would never hesitate to share anything with her. Two pieces in a pod, huh? I guess the pod broke. It was very sudden. It was almost like one day we were a normal family, and then the next... I didn't know who they were. I'd try to visit my mother in the garden, and she'd quickly shoo me away, saying she was much too busy. Preparing for the inevitable, perhaps? She had to be up to something in that garden. I'm hoping it's a clue that will tell us where she went. Yeah, let's hope so. Because it's, uh... I can't wait to see the courtyard again. Sort of a wild guess. Look at that place. Imagine living so close to the sea. Wow. I love this. Yeah, just around this bend. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna have a look. Wow. So this never freezes over? Okay, moving on. Castle looks so big from down here. I mean, it is big, but, well, even bigger. Right. It is big. That's for sure. Um... Damn it. I didn't bring extra set of footwear. Oh well. 
And of course, there are guards here. Yes, we can deal with them. They're not friendly to you either, Serana. Ah, oh, that's too bad. So we're not just walking in then, I guess. Fine. Guess we're fighting. You're, I hope you're gonna guide me through this. Looks like this place looks bright and cozy. Yeah. Wow. Come on, I guess this is the way out. This one. There's another one. Ran away, I think. The old water cistern. On some days, this would smell just... Be glad you weren't here then. Oh, believe me. I wish I wasn't here now either, so... I think I'll follow the light. Much more inviting. It's almost... Almost cozy. Yeah. That didn't last very long. Can hardly see a thing here. We're not going that way. I guess back to the Tarkus area of course would have been too easy otherwise oh hello I see some lights again I'm happy Shh. who's there I knew I heard something okay what are you I knew it uh, that come on Wait, I don't approve of your dog, Serana. What's he got? Not good enough to live in their stupid keep, am I? Stupid sods don't realize I moved into the Undercroft and started taking control of their own death hounds. I'll get my revenge. So, they've got infighting. Good to know. Take a left up here. This is one of those weird double-barred security measures that my father put in when he got more paranoid. If we follow that path around, we can find the other switch. Another switch, huh? Who's maintaining this place? This way. Okay. Ugh, they're good at keeping their trash sorted. I'll give them that. Who's there? I knew I heard something. That'll teach you. I mean, there's no plastic or anything, so yeah. Look at that. Uh, of course, of course. Anything else would have been, you know, boring. Why is there blood down here? I don't understand. Are we are we wading in in blood? Ugh. Ah, uh, sewer. I'll call it that. Did someone eat his legs? Oh no, no. Why did I even? Why did I even go there?
There it is. And back again. Are we even getting closer? I feel like we've been down here for hours. This leads out to the courtyard. Just head for the door. Oh! Are you saying daylight? Because I definitely could use some. Ah. What is this? A sundial? What happened to this place? Everything's been torn down. The whole place looks... well, dead. It's like we're the first to set foot here in centuries. Probably are. That looks nice. This used to lead into the castle's great hall. Hmm? Looks like my father had it sealed up. I used to walk through here after evening meals. It was beautiful once. And her garden, I take it. This was my mother's garden. Mm -hmm. it... Do you know how beautiful something can be when it's tended by a master for hundreds of years? She would have hated to see it like this. Wait. What? Oh, I thought you found something in there. What, what is it? Are you gonna talk? Are you pausing for a dramatic effect, perhaps? Something's wrong with the moon dial here. Moon dial? Some of the crests are missing and the dial is askew. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know the crests could be removed. Maybe my mother's trying to tell us something. Of course it's a moon dial. Did I say sundial? <laughs> Alright. What's up with this moon dial? It's pointing one way... I don't know. Oh, we've got some missing pieces, perhaps? Let's see if we can find them. Here's one. So, did she just throw them randomly around? I think so. Oh, here's another one. In the garden, of course. And here's one. How many do we need? I'll start with these. Right. Full moon and this one. It worked. What? Oh, of course it is. Very clever, mother. Very clever. I've never been in those tunnels before, but I'd bet they'd run right under the courtyard and into the tower ruins. Well, at least we're getting closer. Let's go. More dark, damp dungeons. Yay!